Hey, welcome to Pick It With Zach. It is uh, Friday, uh, June 12th. Um, it's been a really busy couple of days. I got a lot of stuff. Um, I was all over, um, like five, three counties last two days. Tons of stuff. Better do a video now because it's going to be way too much after tomorrow and Sunday. So, uh, let's get this started. Um, so, I picked up this uh, Victoria Knox. It's a watch, Swiss Army, it looks kind of like a compass, um, and it's in the box, it's like new, I think these are going for like 40 bucks, got a bag of marbles, one real big shooter in there, um, and those are going to get sold, I'm going to give those to the, my better half, it's kind of cool. It's Budweiser, and it's a six-pack of uh, handkerchiefs. And it's brand new, pretty neat. I'm not sure what that's worth. I figured it was worth probably five or ten bucks. I don't know. It was just neat. Neat stuff's fun. Got this tie wrap cable tie tool. Uh, it's selling for like thirty, thirty-five bucks. Got a pair of Doc Martens Steel Toe Boots Professional Series. Um, these are lightly used. And they should sell for about um, 50 bucks. They do like shipped. Needed a, a new record for testing. Uh, Turn table, so like West Side Story. It was actually 50 cents. So that was a good deal. It's in good shape. It worked real well. I got this Zvox soundbar with remote, manual, everything like that, and it should sell for oh around hundred bucks used, I think. I only got sixteen minutes on my phone. Okay, a couple Wii games, Mario Galaxy, Smash Brothers Brawl. They're selling for like twenty to twenty-five a piece. Same garage. I picked up two Wii motes, so I'll get like twenty-five bucks for the pair of those shipped. Got some knives. This is a uh, Ontario. It's an '86, I think. If you guys don't know the. These are marked here. These pilot survival knives. Um, so sometimes people think that they're not good knives because they're marked in a weird spot, and those usually sell uh, for 30, 35 bucks. There's a lot of factors on those. That's probably a 25, 30 dollar knife. Kind of weird. I picked up this brass uh, menorah, and it's um, Weinberg made in Israel on the bottom. Um, I, I think I think it's worth like thirty bucks. Just something interesting to buy. A couple pieces of silver I picked up. Um, this will just go in my treasure chest, and this is a little Catholic um, pendant. And I'm not sure if I'm going to put that in my chest or that might be worth like 20 or 30 bucks. I'm not sure about that yet. Camilla survival knife. It's, it's new. It's probably like 15 or 20 bucks. It's like a flea market knife. Uh, old Gerber USA made folding saw. It's probably like 20 bucks. Piece of piece of pottery. I don't buy a lot of pottery and stuff. I don't like things that break in the mail. It's really a pain. But I do buy them sometimes. This is the dish that a pot sits in. A, you know, plant a pot. And it's national um, brand pottery. And it's got the uh, the Native American uh, with the big headdress and stuff on there. It's pretty cool. It's probably worth forty bucks. I'm trying to make some space here. Cast iron Dutch oven, Wagner Ware, it says uh, Christmas 1994, um, Leroy International, which is here in town, and uh, probably get like 30 bucks for that, little Samsung um, like MP3 player, it's probably like 10, 20 bucks, this is super cool, you can't appreciate it, this is a hand blown glass paperweight, um, it's actually purple, and golden green in the light. It's amazing. I bought that for myself. I don't know what it's worth. A 
Also bought these little guys. They're really cool. These are ashtrays and uh, bottle openers. These are made in India. I'm not 100% sure when. I'm thinking it might be pre-World War II. It might be just after. But they're very cool. And those are keepers. I like weird stuff. Phillips DVD VCR combo with remote. Uh, that's probably with the remote like 60 bucks. If you guys can buy DVD VCR combos for a good price, always buy them. They're kind of a pain to ship. Everything I do is a pain to ship. Got these uh, thorough good boots, work boots. These are brand new. Um, probably like a hundred and a quarter retail on those. Like a hundred and seventy retail. I got this cool old military box. It's wood and metal. Um, it's got leather handles on the sides and this old leather uh, wrapped wood handle on top. And that's probably going to go to the flea market for like 25 or 30 bucks. Got this cool hatchet. This is, um, it's a European country, I think. Military surplus. Like $40 retail, $45. Yeah, it's probably 20 bucks for that. The flea market or something. Got a couple of these at a garage sale, which is kind of neat. These are actually like, um, like fur-lined knife cases. And, um, I'll just use those for nice knives if I have them. For transport, keep them, keep them self-protected. I'm not going to pull this out of the box, but this is a, um, um, White Mountain 6-quart electric ice cream machine. And it's, in the box, it's a great shape. Uh, it'll probably bring about $200 shipped. This was cool. This is a, I'm not sure what it says. It's a jockey hat. And on the back, it's got a little tag. It says Ohio uh, Harness Horseman's Association member 1976. That was kind of neat. It was actually a free pile, so that was kind of neat too. I did buy stuff at that garage sale. I really feel bad if something's free at a garage sale and I don't want anything else. I won't take the free stuff sometimes. I just feel real bad. I got this Craftsman chainsaw. It's a bare tool. 24 volt lithium. Uh, it's a good shape. Should bring about $100 shipped. I got these phones. There's another phone. These are unit in um, loud and clear. They have extra big buttons and stuff. I think these are for like older folks that are having like hearing and pain problems. I, know, I got this cool, this is a bullet um, golf balls. It's a shotgun shell. Uh, it's a, it says uh, 444, which isn't actually a, uh, I guess there's a 444 Marlin uh, cal caliber, but it's not a straight walled rifle caliber. Actually, no, it is. It is straight walled rifle caliber. Picked up a couple radios. Got a Cobra 29 Classic here. Um, 50, 60 bucks. And, and unit and Bearcat um, 760 XTL uh, scanner. And this has got the manual and stuff. Probably in the 50 bucks range, too. Here's kind of a lesser seen Wagner pan. It's got an older stamp on it. It's dimpled wood handle. Uh, in fact, I don't think I have this one. I have a lot of Wagner. I collect that. Come from Sydney. Here's a Wagner number 10 skillet picked up. Um, and I pretty much gave the guy what it was worth because my friend was actually looking for pieces and he didn't have a number 10. It's worth on eBay like 60 bucks, I guess. Something like that. this nice little Stanley toolbox it'll go to the flea market and get like 20 or 25 bucks doing on time we got like seven minutes left all right I got this umco this is a 1000 um, as tackle box it's not dented it should clean up pretty good and the trays are pretty decent um, yeah, I quick searched this. I think it's 
about 80 bucks, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, something like that. Got this Norelco Body Groove electric shaver. Um, it's Philips Norelco. It's pretty good stuff usually. Uh, I'm gonna say 30 bucks for a used one. Let's try to pick that up if you see it. Here's a good one you see all the time people overlook. These are Intermatic, uh, Malibu Intermatic uh, timers, outdoor timers. This is a, kind of a cheaper one. This is probably worth $15 shipped. But if you get like a heavier one, nicer ones, and fancier ones, you can get $50, $60 for a used one. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, I got this Kohler uh, faucet here. They never installed it. They tried to, and it would not fit in their sink. And it should bring... 100 bucks shipped. Oh, Pet fence, uh, one collar, should bring, this is a PIF 300, I think. And that you know, should bring around $200 shipped. One thing about pet fences that I found, and I have sold a lot of those, they sell better at auction than they do buy now. Because I buy now almost everything. When you put a pet fence on auction, you're going to get $25 more almost every time. This is pretty slick. This is, um, I think this is pronounced Wheel McLean, Wheel McLean. I'm not sure. I've never actually heard it said. That's a 55 Chevy truck and a uh, 67 Vet oh, on a trailer. It was new. I think I saw this selling for like 80, 90 bucks. needs clean pretty bad but this is a hidden treasure um black and decker space maker um this is like 80 bucks 100 bucks sometimes and some models are more and it's black and decker space maker electric can openers are expensive too so you'll find those sometimes for like nothing and if you do pick them up they're a good deal uh zippo blue 25 bucks you something like that This is a GoBot little guy. Uh, he's in pretty good shape. Stickers are kind of, yeah. I don't know. He was cheap enough. It probably like 10 bucks at the flea market. You know. I was really happy with this helmet. Um, this is a Fuller um, Eagle AF40. It's got great decals. The helmet's in good shape. This should be around a $100 helmet. So, keep an eye out for the uh, vintage Jap helmets and stuff, too, with um, cool stuff on the sides. They always bring good money. Uh, this is a uh, Tramontina restaurant pan. Should be $40 shipped, something like that. This Pioneer CD changer should be like 60, 70 shift. They're really light, so that makes that a lot easier. We got this Fantech, um, you know, ceiling fan or whatever it's for, ventilation fan. This guy's about 100 bucks retail. It was actually never installed, but you find that a lot. So be on the lookout for that kind of stuff. And I got a Honeywell. Um, HEPA filter for, I don't know, a certain model. Uh, air cleaners, 40 bucks shipped. It's new. I got this guy, it's new, Milwaukee uh, M12, uh, well, stapler. It's getting around 100 bucks, spare total. Got this Dyson car cleaning kit that works with several Dyson models. It's selling for like 30, $35 shipped. Pretty decent old GE metal fan. Um, it works. It's actually on at the garage sale. Um, probably worth 30 or 40 bucks. Oh. Now, I know I buy a lot of vacuums. I honestly hate my vacuums. They're paint. But, I got uh, this is a Kenmore Whisper Tone. Um, and Kenmore canister vacuums sell great. Uh, all the models I've ever had sold well. 
the uh, you can just part them out really good like canister like 70 bucks shipped a lot of times hose 40 45 bucks and then power heads are like 40 40 bucks too that's like 130 bucks complete working right there um i run out of time here so real quick um i also bought some vintage fisher speakers that i didn't bring in for the video they needed foam i'm not gonna foam them usually I take the mids and the tweeters out if they work and i just sell those and it's so much easier to ship them and stuff if cabinets are beat up and stuff like that so you can get a deal on some vintage speakers with bad cabinets or you know bet no foam but it's got good tweeters and mids they can be like 40 50 bucks a pair so look out for that and then i also bought a um, inversion table that i'll sell at the flea market or something and um i also bought a rainbow vacuum that needed cleaned really bad it was like stored in the shed and it's like rust i'm gonna park that out i'll probably just sell the canister itself and maybe the hose and the power head but that's uh that's it for me guys i'm out of time uh have a good one